Hello! Today we are preparing a traditional Serbian dish um, the way my grandmother used to prepare it. It is the string beans um, that can be used as a main dish if you're eating plant-based or they can be used as a side dish if you consume meat products um, as a side to chicken or pork or you can just eat them as a side to rice or mashed potatoes if you eat plant-based. Up to you really. And some people just like it as it is and they eat it as a main dish even when they're, um, they consume animals. It's uh, really a, a very versatile dish. You can eat it any which way you like. All right, so let's get started. For this dish, um, also called Borania, where I come from, from Serbia, northern province of it called Vojvodina, we will need about a pound and a half of string beans chopped in um, maybe inch, inch and a half length. And um, you can use fresh or frozen, up to you. Um, we're going to need a little bit of parsley. I didn't have any, so I went to my garden and got some celery leaves out of it. We're going to need one tomato, four cloves of garlic, one onion, about three or four carrots. I don't peel my carrots. I scrub them with a potato brush and two potatoes. You can peel them or leave the skin on up to you. If you scrub it really good with a brush, skin has great vitamins and minerals in it. Um, you will also need um, salt and pepper and a little bit of paprika. And if you don't want to use salt, um, uh, I also use this spice called Vegeta. It is a common spice in our um, cuisine back in from former Yugoslavia. I'm just trying to find something. Uh, Vegeta is a common spice in former Yugoslavia. It originates from Croatia and in Fredericton you can find it at Scoop and Save. And you just have to be careful to buy the no MSG uh, version of it. Um, and it's a food seasoning. It's called Vegeta. It has a whole bunch of dried veggies in it and salt. So I go lighter on the salt and I put a little bit of a gaffa just for the taste. I'm going to go and chop the vegetables so that I don't keep you while I'm doing this. I'll be right back. And we are back. Everything is chopped up. I just forgot to mention one thing. Uh, we're going to need some um, veggie broth that is either homemade. I do mine from scraps. Um, or you can buy the salt-free vegetable broth at any grocery store. It's cheapest at Walmart right now, I guess. Um, what I do with these ends and odds, I want to show you this. Um, ends and odds, like when I have, um, when I peel carrots and I take a piece out of tomato and I have some onion peels, that kind of stuff, right? What I do is I put all these scraps into a freezer bag in the freezer and then when the bag is full in my instant pot I make a whole, a, a whole batch of vegetable broth. So what we're going to start with today as we're cooking with no oil, I'm going to leave that there and we're going to um, heat the pot and we're going to put the onions in. And once they start sizzling, we're going to be adding a little bit of this broth a little bit at a time. This dish can be consumed as a side dish uh, to any kind of meat you're eating. Or it can be consumed as a side dish to rice or mashed potatoes. Now, if you skip the potatoes from this, um, you can eat them with mashed potatoes. But if you add potatoes here, um, you can just eat it as a main dish anyways. We're going to uh, dry saute a little bit. And then we're going to add a couple tablespoons of, um, of uh, veggie broth as we go. And then when the onions are translucent, what we're going to do is add the 
string beans and potatoes and carrots and tomato, tomato chopped. Um, all together, we're gonna cover it with broth, cover it, cover the pot, and it's gonna cook for 15-20 minutes. And then we're going to uh, put garlic and uh, parsley, in my case, celery, in, and we're gonna spice it up. Add spices, salt and pepper, vegeta, paprika, whatever we're adding, and that's gonna be it. It's a very easy, very versatile dish, um, and you can um, make it any time in the summertime. It's a very light dish. Oh, one more thing I forgot. One bell pepper. Completely zonked out about it. So let me just grab that. I'm adding a little bit of water here so it doesn't stick. I'm going to turn the heat down a little so we don't burn the onions. We want them translucent, but not burnt and charcoal, right? That's right. We don't want the unnecessary calories from the oil that sometimes um, I used to cook with oil in the past, but not anymore. And I'm enjoying the food um, this way a little bit better. It's healthier for me. And it's better in the long run. So. The pepper also needs to be chopped, so I'm going to do that. And it doesn't be, it doesn't have to be like super precise and whatnot. It, it can be chopped any which way you like it, right? The onions are coming along pretty good. I just want you to see them a little better. See that? Looks really good. They're still cooking, so let them cook while I chop this stuff up. And the good thing is, with summer being here, this is all in season soon, if not already, depending on what month you're in. Right now it's not yet, but we can get a whole bunch of these produce in at the market. Um, not peppers yet, I haven't seen them. As it's still a little too early in the year, usually July or um, sometime in August, I guess from what I remember. <laughs> and then making these dishes is quick, it's not super time consuming. And that's what we want in the summertime. We don't want to spend the whole evening cooking or, you know, all day slaving in the kitchen. We want quick and easy, right? All right, so onions have been somewhat cooked. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the pepper. Gonna add the rest of the veggies. And the tomatoes. And the liquid. Now I only have two cups of veggie broth, so what I'm gonna do look how beautiful and colorful that is. I mean all these colors, each color has certain phytochemicals in each vegetable with different color. We got red, orange, yellow, green, and potatoes are kind of whitish. Um, each vegetable has different phytochemicals in it and the colors come with those. And they're so good for you. I mean, veggies are your friends. Eat as many as you want. And especially if you don't... Um, Cover them with grease. They're good for you. So what I'm gonna do is mix this up and then I'm gonna cut 
cover it and let it cook for about 15-20 minutes. On medium high. And I will be back. And we're back after 15 additional minutes. We're just gonna check on this stuff. Looks good. Just gonna check on the veggies. what we're doing next we're adding garlic and parsley in my case celery leaves because I didn't have parsley and what I'm going to do is add a teaspoon of baguette into this where are all my teaspoons oh in the dishwasher I guess I'm gonna put a teaspoon of baguette Put a pepper in there, about a quarter teaspoon. Well, kind of like this. Not half, but a little less. And we're going to add one nice teaspoon of paprika. And maybe a little more. I don't really measure all my spices and stuff very much. I kind of go by the eye method. Mix this nice together. It's very steamy, I guess. Turn down the heat a little. maybe a couple of more minutes for these spices to work their way through not too long oh, I have a couple things that fell out of the pot just returning them and we turn the heat down and let it simmer just for a few more moments and then the dish will be cooked um, and it's it's very lovely it's very easy it's done and done like I like to say beautiful lovely so so good for you can't go wrong with beans spring beans potatoes pepper carrots Tomato. I mean, it's all with this. What I'm gonna do? This is done, really. I'm gonna take it off the heat. Pour it in my dish. As I'm eating this, uh, as a main dish. There you go. That looks good. Doesn't that look lovely? It looks fantastic. It's better here in this light. <laughs> you guys have a great day, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this. Enjoy your food. Make it simple. And make it colorful. Bye.